Hey guys, it's Marie from Asian Boss. Having a maid is often seen as a luxury only reserved for the wealthy. But in Singapore, roughly one in five households hire maids or helpers as they know locally. Now considered a necessity for a well-functioning household, Singaporeans reap the benefits of hiring foreign helpers from nearby Southeast Asian countries. Yet time after time, news stories shed light on the abuses helpers experience from their Singaporean families. But are these cases really the norm? How do ordinary Singaporeans actually think about these foreign domestic workers? Our Asian Boss reporter Elena hit the streets of Singapore to find out more. So today we want to talk about Singaporeans domestic helper culture. Do you think that domestic helpers are very common in Singapore? Pretty much, yes. Yeah, I think most people most people around me seem to have one. Yeah. And some of my friends grew up with domestic helpers. Yeah, I think there are like I have a lot of friends who have domestic workers even like within the different social classes. Maybe like one in 5 Singaporeans have a domestic helper. Yeah. So do you have one or do you personally know people who have one? Yeah, I personally have one like made at home right now. Yeah. I don't, but I will be getting one and all of my friends have maids. No, I don't have a helper at home. My friends uh, who have two kids or more than two, they usually have help, definitely have helpers to help them. So why do you think they're so common in Singapore? Uh, I think Convenience is one, I mean like they do everything for you, they do a lot of things for you. They help you wash stuff, they help you do the house chores. People like Singaporeans are too busy and they spend more time at their workplace than they do at home. And so there's that gap that people need to fill and that's where the domestic workers come in. Because the cost of living here is very high so you have to, you have to spend time like working in order to even earn like a decent enough wage to survive. I mean basically your time is unfortunately better spent earning money than than caring for your kids or for your old sick parents. How do you think a typical day is like in the life of a domestic helper? I think they definitely wake up very early. They will clean the house, get the kids ready for school and then the parents will leave, clean the house a lot more, then pick the kids up from school and then make them dinner. They're very like helpful towards kids. <laughs> and do you know how much they earn per month? Not a lot. Thirty dollars per month? Yeah, probably. Maybe it's about between one hundred to two hundred dollars. Maybe six, seven hundred a month. Yeah. So that's about it. Like usually they get about five to six hundred. Do you think that's enough? Yeah, definitely not. I don't think so. I think if you were to offer any Singaporean that same amount of salary, I don't think anyone would be willing to take up that job. So how do you think these maids can survive in Singapore with such low pay? Um, I think because most of the time they don't go out that often, right? So most of the time we see them out on the like weekends, like Sundays. Then most of the other days they will be at the employer's house. So I think that's how they, they can survive. Do you know where most of the helpers come from? Uh, from what I know, it will be uh, Myanmar, Philippines, Indonesia. Yeah, these are the only three common ones that I see. Some from Vietnam, Myanmar, uh, Philippines, and Indonesia. Yes, from all the third world countries. <laughs> so, do you know if any nationalities are more popular for Singaporeans to hire? I would say generally uh, the Filipinos are more popular because um, <clears throat> they speak the language, English, which is widely used in Singapore. And uh, they are also trained to cook certain food. But for Indonesians, uh, because they are Muslims, they cannot uh, eat or cook certain type of food where pork is used. So that could be a disadvantage to take in the Indonesian Muslim workers. So why do you think they come to work in Singapore for this amount of pay and it's like so far from their home country? I'm not sure how correct this is but I also do know that in certain countries like let's say the Philippines um, overseas workers like foreign domestic workers are viewed with a certain like respect because they're seen as they're going overseas to do something big for their families. Do you think Singaporeans respect them for the work that they do or do they respect uh, do they look down on them? I do wish Singaporeans would respect them I feel that like to most Singaporeans they are like an invisible underclass 
Yeah, like they are just there to make things happen and people don't realize what they're doing and how much they're doing and only when they are gone then you realize like how much how much work they have been doing for you. Like I mean like that has happened with some of my friends also, like when their mates go back for just a short while and suddenly it's like, oh I have to do the laundry, I have to clean the, I have to clean the house and previously like you know, I like all this stuff just happened magically. Well I would say that they are better treated in a in a way. And uh, maybe the salary, the wages that they draw are better than, uh, you know, what they get in other countries. I think generally, uh, Singaporeans are, shall I say, civilized in treating the domestic workers. They don't bully them or, you know, give them excessive work. They don't, uh, you know, take advantage of them. We, we look at them as like, lesser, lesser individuals of some sort and we always have those like subtle jokes like oh Lucky Plaza being the little manila, places that mates go to shop and buy their clothing. We look down upon these places. Have you ever heard of any stories of mates being mistreated at home? There's recently like the case of the maid being uh, abused, hit and like malnourished, like she was malnourished because of that. And there are a few cases of maids falling out of windows because they were made to like clean the outside of windows or like do difficult errands that I chores that people don't usually have to do. This is family I, I've heard of that they don't feed the helper um, regularly or don't give enough food. So she ends up eating instant noodles for most of the day, which I feel is a sense of mis um, is quite severe in terms of mistreatment because that's physically affecting her health. Uh. Never met any people that mistreated their mate before. I guess I, my friends all treated their mate very uh, equally. I think nowadays people, they have, I think they are more educated to know and to, you know, show an exam example for their children. So to respect human and be more compassionate. I saw in the news about this maid and the, these two people were put in jail or something because she was being treated really badly. And I was so shocked to see that because all of my friends' maids are treated like so well. And I think that's like the most unfair thing that anyone could ever do to anyone because like we're living, we're living in Singapore and there's like so many buildings, so many people like walking around everywhere. And then you realize that the maids are just cooped up in this like little space. How do you think we can you know, change the way that we treat them in the future? I think one important thing is just to improve the system. Yeah, because I also know that like there are a lot of mates who come here and being in a new place, they don't really know what there is. And then their first touch point and point of contact would be that of the employer. So I do think that the system in itself, which means the employers, the employees, and also like educating the mates on uh, maybe agencies that may be able to help them. I think all these are all very important in making the transition for them smoother when they come to Singapore to work. I think there should be a minimum wage because when the wage is so little people don't appreciate the work. Like when we value, when we pay them like 500 bucks, we basically are valuing their work at 500 bucks. So how much do you think we should pay them? Mm, I would say at least double, at least a thousand. Yeah, I mean we shouldn't be taking advantage of the fact that like this money is worth a lot more back in their hometown. Uh. A good thing would be to bring about more campaigns. I feel a lot of times people don't think about it. It's a very sidelined issue. Maybe social media campaigns would be great because that's a pretty good way to get to people these days. Uh, I think that's a good idea to bring a lot more awareness about treating helpers with respect. Yeah. Hope you found people's answers insightful. Do you know anyone having helpers in your own country? How does their situation compare to Singapore's? Let us know in the comments below. For more authentic insight into the latest news and culture trends from all over Asia, be sure to subscribe to Asian Boss and follow us on our social media. Thanks for watching and as always, stay curious.